process for um, genomically testing the heifers is very simple. You know, it's just a matter of running the cows, or the, the cars, I should say, into the, the crush when we're drenching and that, and it's a simple um, ear notch out of the ear, and that, then they get sent away and they DNA test that. I, I don't even think you can put a scale on the return of a $50 investment on the information that you're getting for that specific animal. I think if you, you can look at it in many, many different ways, but if you're choosing, for us, where we're using a lot of sex semen, if you're using a high fertility, an animal you know is high fertility, and you're putting a sex semen straw at $50 in you, and that takes on the first AI, you've already paid for your $50 genomic test, let alone the long-term advantages around production, around health traits, or whatever you're choosing to select in that, in that data set. All the things we select for, it just, you, it's evident in the shed when they, the heifers come through, like they, they're just quiet. Like the days of when I was younger with dad and heifers kicking rails and all that, you just don't have any of that now. And, and Angelique will vouch for it when she comes and helps milk. You know, she's got to look up and work out if that's a heifer or is that a cow, because it's just, they're grown so evenly and they're so quiet now, you actually can't tell yeah, the difference between a cow and a heifer. And we're seeing gains in fertility as well. So those, when we first started farming, that first year of lactation, those heifers weren't probably where they should have been. Yeah. And then the fertility wasn't there either, so we'd lose a lot of those cows. But now we're seeing the longevity of those cows, of those heifers, they're coming through and going right through into the herd because they're high fertility as well. I think try it, even if you don't do your whole heifers in the first year, if you don't want to do every heifer, do a handful of heifers and see see what you, you know what you think they might look like and then actually see what the data comes back as and then I think the next year you'll be convinced to do the lot.